this heart yeah wanna feel your arms around me i need you more I need you here more than i would like to admit let's forget about tomorrow yeah should i hide away forever should i close my eyes and never again hold you tight call you mine Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I have some really easy and fun dollar DIYs for you to create to celebrate the season and to give to those people that you love the most. So if you are new here and you like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. All of the projects that I'm making today, I'm using my Cricut Explore Air 2. If you are unfamiliar with Cricut, it is this awesome crafting cutting machine that allows you to personalize and create just about anything. These projects today are super simple and perfect for beginners. The first project is a really simple gift idea that you can make for, you know, your best friend, your daughter, or just give a set of these to someone that needs a little pick-me-up. I found these wine glasses at the Dollar Tree, so for just a little bit of money, you can give a sweet gift to all your favorite people. So for these wine glasses, I wanted to go in more of a cute direction than a wine-related direction. So we are here in design space where all good things begin. To find our design, we're going to go into Canvas. So you want to go up into the left-hand side of your screen, click on your drop-down menu, and click on Canvas. And this will open up into a space where you can create your design. Now, I know Cricut already has um, an image that would be perfect for this project that I have in mind. So I'm going to click on images, which will bring up a search bar. Now in this search bar, I'm going to put in unicorn valentines. And we're gonna search. And already I see right here on the second line, this is the image that I want. So we are going to click on it and down in the right hand side, it says insert image. And this is what brings you back into that design space where you can create your design, make it the size that you want. So I'm going to stick with three inches. That is the size that I want to create. So over on the right hand upper side, it says make it. And it brings you to the screen where it divides your design into its different parts. So our first cut up are the cute little eyelashes. So to make this cut, you're gonna go down into the right hand side of your screen, hit continue. Go to your machine, load your mat and vinyl, and push the cut button when it starts to flash. Once all your pieces are all cut out, weed away the extra vinyl and apply your transfer tape. Now you're ready to apply your vinyl. Whenever I do a mug, a glass, or a wine glass, I always lay it in the middle of an open book. This keeps the glass steady while you are applying the different vinyl pieces. I also like to keep a picture of the design next to me so that I am sure I am putting the pieces down in the right order. You can put any design you want on these glasses. I think these would be so beautiful for a wedding or bridal shower or for a special holiday celebration. Mugs are a great beginner's project because there are so many different things that you can do with them and they make a great gift for everyone. I have given these as gifts to my teacher friends all filled up with markers. I fill them up with candy at Halloween time and with flowers for a special birthday. I think these would be really cute at a kid's table during the holidays with everyone's name on them and I think it would be a special keepsake for something like a graduation party. Be sure to always use permanent vinyl when making a mug or a wine glass and be sure to always wash them by hand. 
So how about a simple gift idea for the kids? I got these adorable red mailboxes at the Target dollar spot. I think it would be a perfect as a gift to your special little one with their name on it, or this would be an easy gift for them to share with their classmates, fill it up with a little bit of candy and a Valentine, and it makes the sweetest gift. My absolute favorite way to use my Cricut is to personalize things, especially for gifts. So we are going to start in our design space. Go to the left upper corner of your screen, pull down your menu, and you're going to go to Canvas. Along the side here, you're going to look for text. It'll open up into a box where you can put anything that you like. So in here, I'm going to put in the name Maureen. And at this time, you can choose whatever font you want. I know that I want to use a font that I have loaded on myself, which is called the Skinny. So I put that in the search bar and it will come up and it will transform the name into the font that you want. Because I want to add a couple hearts. So I'm going to go into image into the search bar and I'm just going to put in hearts. And so it comes up with 9,189 options for you. I'm going to make it really easy on myself and I'm going to choose this first one right here. So we're going to insert the hearts that I chose and we're going to play with the size. There we go. So I am thinking this looks like a good ratio for our cut. And then I'm going to go over to the right hand upper corner of our screen, hit make it, and it's going to bring our cut. Once it's all cut out, you just weed away your extra vinyl, apply your transfer tape, and transfer the name to the mailbox. Fill with some candy and a card, and this sweet Valentine's gift could not be easier. With a little practice, you can use your Cricut for just about anything. I love to use it for home decor, especially for holiday and seasonal signs, a little something extra to go into my wreaths. I love the way that I can coordinate all of the seasonal decorations, and I really like being able to make something to celebrate all those little holidays throughout the year without having to spend a lot of money or basically even leave my house. I have heard from so many of you that you got a Cricut for Christmas, but you have been hesitant to start using it. With this video, I really hope that you have seen how easy it is to use and how user-friendly it becomes the more you use it. I have used Cricut cutting machines for over 10 years now, and it is my most used and loved crafting tool. Leave me a comment down below if you would like me to share more tutorials on specific projects or if you just have any questions at all. Thanks again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video, and I'll put links in the description box down below for Cricut and all the other supplies that I used in today's video. I hope you'll join our community over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. Please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have, be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.